It was a successful relaxing break back in the hostel because whilst I was looking for a restaurant to eat in tonight I only found a bloody bar 20 minutes on the edge of Pushka is a bar and not only does it sell alcohol it sells meat as well Mutton curries, chicken curries I'm surprised these guys haven't been run out of town So I think 20 minutes walking is no time at all to go and have a few lovely kingfisher strong and some mutton curry. Let's do it. Hello. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Hello man. <laughs> now obviously I don't want to get myself too excited about this because even though Google Maps says it's open and there were reviews from very recently. This is India. You can't take anything for granted here. So I'm not going to get excited until I'm actually sat down with a cold beer and a menu that says mutton curry and chicken curry on it. It's bound to be open, isn't it? I mean, there's no other bars in the whole of the city, so it's got no competition. I think the actual law is that you can't sell alcohol, meat or eggs within two kilometers of one of the main temples, I forget which one, but I guess this is uh, just on the border because it is just outside the main centre, so uh, yeah, a bit of loophole in the law there. Well this is the main road that kind of runs through Pushka, it's away from the lake, it's bloody lively around here. Have your shoes mended there, you've got some music somewhere, ah it's one of these things. It's the first time I've actually seen one working and up and running. Wow, look at it around here. How come I've not been down here? Well, it looks like this uh, thing is going to do a big loop. And there's bloody hundreds following it. And this is the road I need to go up to find the RK Resto and Bar. Beer and Mutton, bloody hell. What a wonderful combination. Now when I come back down here later on tonight, it's going to be dark. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. All the scallywags will be out in force then. Dogs might not be uh, as chilled out. Oh, look, that one's off already. It's me, he's barking at. hundred people walk past and he's barking at me. <laughs> Got the death stare off one of the locals there. All the dogs have passed out, look at them. Bang out. They'll be awake later though. <laughs> Got a dog fight here. Oh, another one's come to join in. Cows coming to sort them out. Go and sort them out, lad. Am I walking into the bloody push car ghetto over here? Or what? <laughs> I've no idea. You don't do any research into you know areas to avoid. I don't think there are any areas to avoid in a tiny little push car. But I don't know that. For all I know, this might be a bloody ghetto. Anyway, even if it is, I still want a beer and some mutton. Look at this. Scruffy old thing. Don't, it looks like you don't like the look of me, so I'll keep on going there. There's bloody loads of dogs sleeping. They're not going to be sleeping for long, I know that much. This is the viewpoint from which I was going to watch the sunset before I discovered there was a bar. I'm here for one more day, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. And you can see the sun's over here, so it's going to be a great view. I like how this is an actual official road, according to Google Maps. Oh dear, this is going to be funny dark. When I've had four kingfisher strong. Well, I'm walking through an estate here and people are looking at me and saying, what the bloody hell is he doing? Well, keeping dogs coming to have a look. <laughs> Hello. 
Are you friendly or what? Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Cows friendly, dogs. <laughs> Hello. No. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Getting attacked by dogs everywhere. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let's see where we are. And I turn on this way. I don't understand. Uh, England. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Bloody hell. Where's this chuffing bar? Hello. Hello. Am I crazy or what? There's no dogs following me now. Looks like I've got past the worst of it. There is actually, when I get to the bar, I can leave and go down the main road, which I'm going to do. Hello. Because, hello, my friend. I'm not walking back, I'm not walking back this way, I'm like, hell. Hello. And it's only one minute further, so. Let's look at all this. Oh God, two big bloody dogs. Well, they're laid down at the minute, so hopefully they'll stay laid down. I can sneak around the back and uh, they'll be okay. Look like big buggers these as well. interested in the bike are well, they going to be interested in me well he's laid down no I think we're all right with these two they're okay how about this one he seems chilled out as well he doesn't seem to bother he'd have barked already I think if he was uh, annoyed hey that's what you want good dogs good friendly lazy dogs who can't be asked about some crazy Englishman walking through their neighborhood with a GoPro trying to find a beer and some lovely mutton. I literally turn left here and this bar should be somewhere around here. It's not going to be here, is it? And I've just walked through bloody hell and nearly got attacked by a million dogs and chipping 30,000 kids for a bar that doesn't exist. I mean, this is a road going to Google. This is the way to go. It's like being on a beach. Kind of. Hello. I'm good. Is this uh, open? Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. What the hell? Look at that beer. Hello. Oh. Who? Where are you coming here? Say again? I mean, where are you coming here? Where or why? Okay, then. <laughs> Thank you. Well, they have absolutely no idea what I'm doing here. When I walked in, they said, oh, are you here? Uh, but yeah, they've, uh, they're not mutton, can't they? But they've got uh, chicken, so I've got chicken Korean fries. I don't think I've had rice while I've been in India. Maybe I should do something about that. And uh, some lovely kingfisher strong. Excellent. Well, look at it now. Pitch black. 25 minutes walk to my uh, hotel. And yeah, what a strange experience that was. I got there. Found the place. It was open, and the guys asked, Why are you here? Which is not the greatest of welcomes, is it? And, but you know, they welcomed me in, and they gave me the menu, and everything was pretty cheap, pretty good prices. And uh, they had no mutton, but they had chicken. Hello, my friend. But they had chicken, so I said, can I have a chicken curry, uh, but not spicy. And I think they took not spicy to mean no spices at all. Nothing at all. Hello. Because it was basically just chicken and tomato. Uh, but it was okay, that was all right. But the whole 
place, the whole restaurant, bar, whatever you want to call it, was in complete darkness. It was just sat drinking in the dark. So I've had a couple of beers and uh, I then had the incredible idea that I could just buy a couple of beers and just bug off back to my hotel where I can do some work and uh, not feel awkward about just being the only guy in this dark place. So there we go. I came out of uh, the restaurant and there was three guys and they said hello and started following me immediately. <laughs> so yeah, not the most chilled out place to go for a beer. I think the lesson to be learned from this, I know you can't see me, but the lesson to be learned is when you're in a place where alcohol is illegal and you find a bar, it's probably going to be a bit dodgy. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go back and sync these Kingfisher Extra Strong, do some video editing and chill out. Prepare for my last day in Pushka, which I think has actually been my favourite place so far in India. I like old Pushka. Time to stumble upon in the streets of Pushka. Check this out. It's my final day in Pushkar and I've not done any vlogging today because I've not really done a great deal. I went to one of the temples, it's quite a historic temple actually, it's, uh, it's the only one in India that worships one particular god. I forget which one it is, but I seem to have acquired a friend. Are you going to come all the way to the temple with me? Come on then. Apparently it takes about 15 minutes to get up here but it's quite a climb. I'm going to come up here for the sunset. Hopefully the dogs are friendly. I've got a waggy tail, so that's a good sign. Well, now I seem to have acquired three dogs. And the one that uh, started with me has uh, disappeared. So I've lost a dog and gained three. Bloody hell, that's what I've got to climb to. Not quite at the top yet. Pretty steep though. Still not at the top. Hello. Namaste, welcome to the Namaste, thank you. Too much time there. But what of you? What of you? <laughs> England. Uh, lovely lovely job, they sound as a pound. <laughs> you get a 360 view from up here. I nearly toyed with the idea of not coming. I found that there's a sunset viewpoint right on the lake. 
and uh, apparently it's really beautiful. I might go down there next because apparently it gets pretty lively. There's musicians and fire and yeah, a bit scammy as well apparently. So I'm not sure, but this is amazing. Unfortunately, it's quite cloudy, so the sun's already kind of vanished. But we'll just have to make do with this. I'm sure we can cope with this. You just heard a huge cry. And uh, just down there, you're not going to be able to see it on the GoPro, but just down there, there's, I can see at least four peacocks. That's what that is. Wow. How about there's dozens of them down there? And there's Pushkar Lake right in the centre. Surrounded by the holy city of Pushkar. As well as the peacocks, we can also hear the sounds of drums starting up. I'm presuming that there'll be another procession like the one we saw last night. I think it happens every night, to be honest. As soon as the sun's gone down. And that's as dark as I'm going to allow it to get. Because I need to get down here and it's not the uh, easiest walk. It's not exactly uh, you know, a, a man-made staircase or anything. So I'm going to make my way back down now. And uh, yeah. Maybe go and check out what's going on at the other sunset point over there. can hear the music again, what we saw yesterday, so that'll be happening. Good I came up here, it's very nice. Coming out of the exit now to the temple and I've been asked for a donation for some tiny little temple that some guys were stood outside, but I didn't give them any. <laughs> I want donations for everything. But they're very nice, they said happy heart, open heart and all that. And now, somewhere around here, I can hear this uh, music thing going off again. So that's all going to kick off. Now the uh, sun's disappeared. <laughs> this temple I did visit the other day, but it was all closed up. And uh, it looks better in this light. As I was coming in, a guy stopped me to tell me that he pointed at my shoes and my camera and I said, is it okay or inside, outside? And eventually I got it from him that I could wear my shoes and use my camera wherever I was. So I don't know why he stopped me, but 